Welcome to the MSP 2.5.0 overview video. Thanks for choosing Firewalla. While viewing an individual box, click on Networks to see details about its LANs, VPNs, and WANs in our Network Manager. Note that the Network Manager feature is read-only for now, but we plan to make it configurable in the near future. Click on any LAN, VPN, or WAN to see every detail about it clearly laid out. I'll click on LAN Main. For LANs and VPNs, click the Network Detail button to see the devices, flows, and throughput going over the network. The Link Aggregation tab shows you the lags on your network. The NAT Settings tab lists out all details about your source NAT, source networks, NAT pass-through, UPnP, and DMZ. Additionally, all your port forwarding configurations will be displayed here. Click on Performance to go to your box's Network Performance page. The Network Performance page summarizes network events, speed tests, and quality tests. This feature is also only read-only for now. Hover over or tap on the Summary Status bar to see network events over the past 24 hours and tap View All Events to go directly to the Systems Events page. Below the network summary are your speed test results. Tap on View Speed Test Results or the graph to go to the Speed Test Results page. To see speed test information, tap Server and Speed Settings. Lastly, the Network Performance page displays your latency and packet loss test results. Tap on View Quality Test Results or the graph to go to the Quality Test Results page. As we mentioned previously, your network events are now shown in the System Events list in MSP. Click on Events to go to the System Events page. These events include things like high packet loss, high latency, Ethernet port connected or disconnected, WAN restored or WAN down, and so on. Tap on any event to see its details. I'll click on WAN restored, and here are the event details. To make it easier to manage multiple boxes in MSP, we've improved navigation between your inventory and individual boxes. I'll go to the inventory. Clicking on any box in your inventory will take you straight to that box's dashboard. So clicking on GSE SJC New will take me to the GSE SJC New dashboard. Additionally, when you're viewing an individual box, you'll find a back to inventory shortcut located in the top left corner. This makes it simpler to navigate to other boxes or see information across all boxes.